Hey everybody. Well, it is a been a rainy, windy night and day here in Texas. So what do you do when you're stuck inside? Well, for me, I'm packing. I'm getting ready to go to the Philippines. And I've just been piling everything on top of my suitcase, just throwing it there, side so I sort it later. And uh, I'm like, well, it's time to really nail on down and go through it. We got a lot happening between now and that time before we leave. And I'm trying to ship some boxes out to the Philippines as well. They'll arrive there far after us, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to get them shipped. I just didn't want to send them during that Christmas madness, you know, and maybe they're going to get stuck forever anyway and Manila going through. So I figure all oh, it'll work out and it's not nothing I have to urgently have. So as long as it gets there and I can get it secured while we're there. Let me show you what I've got going on right now. She had put out some uh, ribs. She really enjoys those dry rub ribs and she wanted me to grill them. But of course, all the rain, my firewood got wet for smoking. And I said, well, it's going to be a, a nightmare to try to get that going. How about I just cook them in this little uh, convection oven here that we just kind of use to keep from burning the big oven all the time. So I wrapped them in full. Let's take a look at them here. Oh, yeah, man. I wrapped them in foil and sealed them and cooked them at real low, like at about 280, 290 for a long while, sealed up in their own juices with dry rub on it. And then I opened them up a little bit ago to brown them up, threw a little bit more brown sugar and some seasoning on it. Uh, one of them I put a little bit of honey as well. And the other one I put Cajun spice on. I know that's funny, but... It, it's actually just not so much Cajun spice, just spicy. So we got one set of spicy ribs. And uh, look at those, boy. And get this thing out of here. And got one set of little honey sweet ribs. Ooh, that is hot, hot, hot. Boy, look at that. These are the ones I put the honey on. Man, do they ever look good. <laughs> I know we just keep showing cooking ribs, but Mel, she's been enjoying them so much. She keeps going and, and buying more of them, and this was her request. See, my potatoes fell down when I slid that right. Yeah, and I got a couple baked potatoes back there in the back. What do you think about those? Let's see how these slice. You see it's already pulled back from the bone. I slow cooked them. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. Just that knife. I'm just barely even touching it. Look at that. Man, y'all going to start calling me the rib master. Man, that is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at those. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep seeing ribs. going to have to do something else. But, well, she's enjoying them. And I say, if you, all of you don't have a smoker out there. Man, you don't have to have a smoker. These little ovens are nice. You don't waste as much energy because it's more compact around it. But I made sure I used convection. They kept the air stirred so they didn't like burn them on the bottom or on the top. And that thing down at low temperature to start with. Sealed completely up. This foil was sealed tight, tight so no moisture would leak out. And that's pretty important too so you don't end up with a dry rib. If you cook them in the oven especially and they don't get some kind of sealed coating over them. You'll dry them out if you cook them open. We got some friends that take and boil those ribs. We got these friends that'll take a, a big pot and they'll boil ribs, and and then they kind of grill them. I don't know. I guess each to his own. Uh, Y'all tell me out there. Comment if this is something that that you do also. Boil your ribs first. They'll put a big old pot and a whole bunch of different spice and stuff in there and boil it all up and uh, then. Then go grill them. Um, I don't know. To me, I think it's a lot of uh, waste of energy and time. Because if you'll just close these up and fall, I don't put any additional oils. I don't put any like water. I don't put nothing in there. I let its own fat cook into that bottom and uh, steam it in itself. Just making sure you seal it up really tight. Like I say, each to his own. Uh, that's what they enjoy doing. Well, that's what they enjoy doing, right? That's the nice thing. We all have our own style and taste. And of course, I like them more than just this way, too. Let's see how this other set 
the spicy set. Let's see how they are. All right, so here's these. These are the, I just kind of cut through them there just a second ago. These are the spicy ones. Look at that, man. Look at that. Man, is that nice. See that dry rub on them right there? Mm. Now y'all know why I'm a fat boy. Yeah, I tell you, these were Mel's request. She bought some ice cream the other day. She said, babe, I'm craving ice cream, and I bought some. I said, oh, man, we're supposed to be cutting back right now, not eating more. And she said, just don't eat none then. But, man, it is so hard when you open that refrigerator door and you see that delicious tub of Bluebell ice cream staring you in the face. Man, just like a little devil on your shoulder. What do you think about those? I think it came out pretty nice. I really like the dry rub. I guess I'll turn this little oven off. I hear the little timer thing over there just ticking away. Yeah, my friends, man. That is going to be some good eating right there. Um, <laughs> I guess try to enjoy all this stuff as much as we can before we go. We did cook some steaks a few days ago. and Mel did. Mel cooked some steaks. and I wasn't around the video it, and I, I would have, man. She grilled up some nice ones, boy. She really did. Well, let me get out here and show you what else I got going on. So as I said, I'm trying to pack up and go to the Philippines. And uh, I've just been throwing everything on top of the suitcase. Still ain't touched it yet. Let me show what I mean when I said I've been throwing everything on top of the suitcase. I know y'all looking at that bad boy right there. Wow. Let me show you. Here on the floor, I've just been tossing everything. And then I need to sort through it. I... Uh, so a lot of this stuff's just going to be gave away. Um, got these hats here. They were uh, just sitting, not being used. This one I had bought for my brother before when he was doing a little bit of landscaping. And I, he forgot about it. And then he went and bought another one just like it because it was in his back seat. And he didn't see it, bless his heart. So well, I'm going to take those and go put them on some guys' heads in that hot sun over there. And give them some relief. So I think that ought to be a couple good hats for them over. What do y'all think? Look here, this one, man, it's nice. I don't know. It won't fit my head. Look here, man, it's a nice red head, boy. Yeah. I see these things or people have them and they're not using them. And I'll take them and I'll go give them away. Next thing here, ball caps. Yeah. I'm going to go give away some ball caps. Look at Texas Longhorn one, too. Got a little assortment of caps here. Once again, I like to go give us things to people. Uh, they're in our community. You know, sometimes things are hard to come by. Man, just sorting through, I got different cameras for CCTV and cables in these boxes. Uh, man, my shaver over there has been giving me a little problem. <laughs> Y'all probably see my face and think, one well, here's giving me a little problem. But uh, I have a hard time finding a good quality one over there. And so I mine that i got right now i have to give it a little tap little ring on the rim of the sink to get it started and i said well it is time for a new one so of course we got those little things like that uh yeah an all catch can for the toyota hilux surf yeah i ordered this in an all catch can on the on the crankcase ventilation that's going to be pretty important those diesels uh they will sometimes belch a little bit out. Got different things, little clothes and stuff, some cologne. Of course, I got to take this bad boy. It's kind of went back and forth. I should have just bought two of them and left one there. But this is a Ryobi hammer drill and demolition. This is pretty vital, and I've already got batteries and a charger and everything over there. This is pretty vital. Yes, it is. And, man, I'm going to tell you right now. This joker is a workhorse. See, it's got four different selections there on it. Chisel, drill, hammer, hammer and chisel. It's uh, it's pretty tough. I tell you what, when you're over dealing with concrete, this is the tool to have. In fact, it may not come back home from there. I may just, if I need one here, buy me an additional one here instead of dealing with that back and forth in a suitcase. 
And Mel, Mel wanted me to throw these in. She bought these the other day at Home Depot. We have seen another YouTuber um, on Overstay Road. That his mother had sent him some of these, and he had used them on the grill over there. Man, they work pretty good. They had these on uh, clearance at Home Depot that day just for a few dollars only. I said, well, let's just go ahead and get them and throw them in here. They don't weigh nothing. Yeah, heat conductive grill mats. Have you ever, you ever used those yet? And another thing I'm taking, safety goggles. Yeah, safety goggles, safety goggles. I can probably buy some over there, but these are a better grade and quality. Once again, I see those guys uh, chipping at cement and stuff. I'd rather protect their eyes. <coughs> Excuse me there. Oh, look here. I got another one of those hats right there. There's another one for them. That one's a brand new one, in fact. So most of what I'm sending is, is like giveaways. Yeah. Uh, little things like McAfe coffee, man. I tell you, we're like addicted to that stuff right there. If y'all hadn't tried it, man, try it. That is some good stuff right there. It is, it is other things i'm sending yeah i'm sending a set of deer horns it's just the texan in me uh i wanted to put these there inside my shop and it'd be a nice little conversation piece people come up and see those uh, it's, it's just a little fun factor with it and uh over there at my little man cave i'm also bringing me a texas bottle opener yeah uh, it's right there too. That'll fit right in with my little theme going on there. Another thing I'm bringing is on my Toyota Hilux Surf, my horns over there sound like a, a dog dying. <laughs> and uh, I have a donor vehicle here, so I'm taking horns. And these sound nice. These are a different decibel than the ones over there in the Philippines and the Asians. These are at a higher decibel for U.S. market, so they sound like a, a real vehicle. Watch well, just a few of the things I've... Oh, yeah. I got this uh, Lorix uh, CCTV box that I'm also shipping. Some of y'all were asking about that. This is it here. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more specs on it later, but this is that Lorix camera. And so that's definitely going as well. But I'll probably take it out of this big box and use some shirts wrap around it because space is valuable and I just don't need to waste that much space. 